uh, so this is the job this week. We're having to uh, wash this whole timber tower and that's the water going up separately with the uh, little cheap pressure washers. You can just stick the hose straight in these. That's why we've got to put the Nikita one because you can't prime properly. We've got to take water up on that great big tank and pour all the water into the tank to so submerge the hose to prime the hose. Pain in the bum. It's a pressure washer going up the tower. So proper industrial application for this thing. I'm trying to jet wash a tower, and because the thing's such a pain in the bum to prime and not get full pressure from it, it's just wasted so much time trying to prime it. That's what we're trying to do. Well, the prime should waste battery power on water, so it eventually does get a bit of pressure up. When it does, it's great. But it just wastes so much time. So much time. As a natural fact, the Norse pressure washer that fits the Makita battery is just a much more better usable product because this isn't actually kicking out any more power than the Norse, even on paper. It's got double the PSI because it's just a complete nightmare to prime. So, not a very usable tool. Well, there we go, water gone. Um, achieved not very much at all compared to uh, using the cheaper jet wash. I'm kind of speechless actually, because it's, it's been a complete nightmare, wasted lots of time and uh, wasted lots of water uh, getting up to pressure. Um, but it just spurts out lots of water before it fully primes, if it ever does prime. Um, well, at least becomes usable. Uh, so uh, yeah, absolute nightmare. You know, it's uh, you know it just doesn't get the job done. Uh, no problem spending the money on a product like this. Absolutely no problem at all. Justify it. We've got the use case. It just you know, uh, if time is money, this thing you waste your time and your money. Beautiful mate with the North Twenty Five, whatever it is, costs a hundred quid and. It's actually kicking out the same pressure as the Makita because it's managed to prime, whereas the Makita never really manages to prime and suck all the water through it needs. You can see that. There's always a gap in the filter or in the water. There's, there's loads of air. Never primes. So, in actual fact, it doesn't offer any more pressure than, than this one. And look at this. A lot handier. We've got a battery on there, completely portable, and most of the point, you can use any receptacle you don't have to use that big unwieldy uh, awkward tank. You can just dump a hose in something like this, cut this around with you, stick it in the top of an IBC, um, and uh, truly work off good. If you've got to refill that tank that comes with the Makita every time because you've got to submerge the hose in it to prime it, it's not much use. It's not much use. Uh, lots of frustration. When you look at this, this just works and it's 100 quid. So, yeah, there you go.